Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. So if you if you have seen my previous tutorials like about requirement engineering, so in that tutorial we discussed about different types of requirements and how we can gather those requirements, right? So today in this tutorial we will discuss one of the technique of requirement gathering for the information system that was called as a review of literature that was called as a review of reports or we call it as a review of documents you can call it as a review of literatures or you can say review of input or output input and output reports now guys i hope this thing is clear to you right so this is a transcript generated by some student information system okay there is some college which is implementing some information system so which is doing something and this is one of the report one of the report generated by that information system right now in this tutorial we will discuss how by studying or viewing this report we can get different types of functional non-functional and data requirements for that system i hope you can read it or we can zoom a little okay now if you look at it if you look at it so it starts with here student name student number number is okay so you can see student number student name college name program name degree name okay so guys this name id all these can are what all these can be classified under something called as data requirement i will write it as dr mm -hmm. now again if you study it further date of birth gender accepted major again what it is again this is some type of data which system is using to do some work to generate some report right so what is this again this comes under the category called as data requirement then again if you see semester isn't it course number course number course title if you see this again what is this again this is the data which system is using right data and so on so if i study this document in detail i can identify different types of data system is using to generate one report right and same data will be repeated to generate another reports also right so what comes in our by studying this what comes in our data requirement student number name college program course number course title right all that data needs right then what else it needs it needs student grades right it needs grade points okay so grade can be a b c and points is some numeric value associated to it right now just by studying this one report we can understand different types of data requirements for the system and later guys this data attributes okay will help you this data items will help you to define the attributes for different entities or for different classes which will be there in the system okay now this is about data this is about data now again if i look at the document carefully if i look at the document carefully what system is doing system is calculating something system is calculating something for example what is happening it is here are the grades of the student these are the student grades these are the grade points right what it calculated here semester gpa i hope you can see it let me zoom it so what it is calculating here was semester gpa i hope now it is visible okay so we'll zoom it further yes so what it is calculating it is calculating semester gpa now if you look at the next point if you look at the next point cumulative gpa so these are the things which system is calculating which system is 
doing right so what type of requirements are these are related to system functionality right so what type of requirements these will be these will be functional requirement functional requirement right i am i am writing it as fr and fr right so till now we identified different data attributes right and we identify like two functional requirements from the system okay now then coming to non functional requirement guys so what is a non functional requirements non functional requirements are the requirements just i'll zoom it out non functional requirements are the requirements which does not define system functionality rather they define other factors like usability now this transcript is generated in form of a table so that it is easy for the user to read it and understand it the formatting of information or data on this table will come under which type of requirement it will come under non functional requirement okay that will be the ease of use or the ease of understanding okay now guys if you concentrate here if you concentrate here this part just so you, so you can see repeat repeat r e p e n g r e p e n g isn't it so what this system is telling this system is telling like this student had repeated some course he has repeated some course means if this system is keeping track of the last semester plus present semester and which course he has repeated so what system is doing so one of the capabilities of system is it is also it should also maintain historical data isn't it so it should keep track so when system which student course which he repeated how much was his grade previous what was his status okay now if you see status normal load normal load then you see probation and so on right so out of this just by review no no you know in a system many many different reports are generated so this is one of it just studying one report okay we can get many different types of data isn't it name id course number course id isn't it we can get different types of functional requirements calculating the semester gpa calculating the cumulative gpa isn't it then checking based upon gpa checking whether the student is under probation or not that also will be called in something called as functional requirement right so some functional requirement okay then we identified the data whose historical value is important which data's historical value is important right for example the course which he's done previously and he's repeating again so here is the historical data now if we study more documents which are generated more requirements we can identify then after collecting all those requirements we can refine them and we can get a final set of requirement so guys i hope this makes some part of requirement collection to you clear and guys if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel and please leave your feedback in the comment sections so guys all of you thanks for watching and all of you have a nice day thank you so much